As long as it has to do with literature, culture, and identity, anything can fit within that broad spectrum. We did that deliberately because we wanted to capture as wide an audience as we could possibly capture. Teachers, people who are interested in cuisine, people who are interested in culture, people who are interested in politics, people who are interested in history. Otherwise, the, 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 the conference would be rather limited and it would have defeated our purpose. I look on the West Indies as, as like a hand with fingers. And each of these fingers has its own independence, as it were, and its own um, purpose. Uh, the thumb serves a different function from the little finger, from the ring finger, from the index finger, etc. Uh, but they're all linked to the palm. We have common histories which unite us, and yet we're all different. I think this is what is beautiful about the West Indies. So Cayman has its own autonomy, but it's not uh, off in some other universe. It's part of a common history too. So I think basically that what I'm, tr I'm trying to get at here is that we need to learn from each other. Uh, we need to learn um, uh, and share with each other. It's really nice to see different people from different, especially like from different areas, especially in the Caribbean, to come out and just be in Cayman and, you know, probably engage with some of the students and talk to them and get an input of what we're doing right from what we're doing wrong at UCTI. It's just not an institution for the professors and the students. It's an institution for the whole Caymanian community. Whether they want to come and just walk to the library, pick up a book, read a book, or whether they want to just engage in an argument or one of the professors ask a question, we even do consultancy work. So we want, this is an opportunity also to showcase what the University College offers to the broader Caymanian community.